What's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are the LFR family. All right, check this out. Um, usually when I'm having conversations with people, most of the people I know in real life, um, they have ideals of the Democrats. Let's just say the Democrats, right? And when you call them a liberal, they actually get offended. I don't know what that's about. They say, man, you can say I'm on the left or something, or I'm in the middle, or I'm a, or I'm, you know, I'm an independent. I don't want to be, I ain't no liberal. Don't call me no liberal. And you're like, what's the, what's the deal with that? Like, you are what you are. You represent what you represent. But this video right here is going to break it down for me. And hopefully we can have some good conversations from this. What's the difference between a liberal and a leftist? Have no this clue. question stumps most people because they think liberal and left are essentially the same. But they're not. In fact, liberalism and leftism have almost nothing in common. But the left has appropriated the word liberal so effectively, almost everyone, liberals, leftists, and conservatives, thinks they are synonymous. But they're not. Let me offer you six examples. One, race. This is probably the most obvious difference between liberal and left. The liberal position on race has always been, A, the color of a person's skin is oh. insignificant, okay. and B, those who believe race is significant are racists. Meanwhile, the left believes the very opposite. To the left, it's the liberal attitude toward race. It's unimportant. That is racist. That's why the University of California officially lists the statement, there is only one race, the human race, as racist. And liberals have always been passionately committed. <laughs> what? Is that race? How is that racist? <laughs> How is that racist? <laughs> what? People have said that to me in my comments, man. Have they, should I take that? Should I, should I be offended? That people have said that it's like bro there's only one race the human race brother it's all about love and you'd be like yeah you say it's all about love but this video just has said it's racist <laughs> to racial integration while the left is increasingly committed to racial segregation such as all black dormitories and separate black graduations at universities wow two capitalism Liberals have always been pro-capitalism because liberals are committed to free enterprise and because they know capitalism is the only way to lift great numbers of people out of poverty. It is true that liberals want government to play a bigger role in the economy than conservatives do. But liberals never opposed capitalism and they were never for socialism. I was just about to ask that. I was just about to ask, so if they're for capitalism, are they for socialism? He said, nope, they're opposed socialism. All right, all right. So, uh, whoa, so why are people offended when I call them a liberal? Opposition to capitalism and advocacy of socialism it's are left-wing values. Uh... Three, nationalism. Liberals believe in the nation state, whether that nation is the United States, Brazil, or France. But because the left divides the world by class rather than by national identity, the left has always opposed nationalism. So, while liberals have always wanted to protect American sovereignty and borders, the left is for open borders. When the writers of Superman were liberals, Superman was a proud American whose very motto was truth, justice, and the American way. Wow. But that all changed a few years ago when left-wing writers took over the comic strip and had Superman renounce his American citizenship to be a citizen of the world. Oh, so that's why Ripperverse, Ripperverse just now put out a um, comedy strip where they've said truth, justice, in the American way. And apparently that offended some people. That offended the woke people. All right. You know what? Shout out to my shout out to all of my teachers that I've had over the years when I was younger. They will probably see me learning right now with a smile on my face and be extremely proud of me, man, because I was not huh, when it's time to learn. Huh? Okay, who can I mess with in the class? Okay, they look like they're focused. Throw something at them. <laughs> Didn't it? Or uh, flirt with the cute girl over there or start some trouble or, or fight, kick somebody's chair, clip somebody up that walk past me. Nah, right now, I really like learning this because I think this is important to where I am in life.
The left has contempt for nationalism, seeing it as the road to fascism. Better that we should all be citizens of the world in a world without borders. 4. View of America Liberals have always venerated America. Watch American films from the 1930s through the 1950s, and you will be watching overtly patriotic America-celebrating films, virtually all produced, directed, and acted by liberals. Liberals were quite aware of America's imperfections, but they agreed with Abraham Lincoln that America is the last best hope of Earth. The left, however, believes the left is the last best hope of Earth <laughs> and regards America as racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, violent, and imperialistic. And that, tell, and that takes me to the conversation that Caitlin Bennett had with someone on one of the videos from Liberty Hangout. Um, I believe it was her. I, hopefully I'm saying this correctly. She was having a conversation with someone and she said the, um, was it her? It was talking about the America flag. No, it was, it was Candace Owens having an, having a conversation with Mark Lamont Hill and Mark Lamont Hill said that, um, men can be pregnant if they're trans men, but I'm not going to get into all that because that's the conversation they was having. But she said, I don't have to go to a store and see a rainbow flag in a window to believe that they support LGBTQ community. I'm going to assume that everyone supports everyone. So that flag being in the window is pointless. I don't, I don't see the point of that. And, um, and she said, it's not like, um, what's the conservative flag? Like should, should, um, restaurants have flags in the window that says we welcome conservatives. And then Mark Lamar Hill said, um, yeah, the American flag is the conservative flag because people on the left actually look at that as being a racist, um, separatist type of flag for some strange reason. And I know people in real life who actually think like that too. Like they think that the, somebody flying the American flag means we, we better leave because there's about to be some racism going on. Five, free speech. No one has been more committed than American liberals to the famous statement, I wholly disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. But the left is wow. leading the first widespread suppression of free speech in modern American history. From the universities, to the tech companies that govern the internet, to almost every other institution wow. and place of work. This is, wow. Of course, the left claims to only oppose hate speech. But putting aside the fact that the left deems hate speech anything it differs with, protecting what you or I might consider hate speech is the entire point of free speech. Six, Western civilization. Liberals have always championed and sought to protect Western civilization Liberals celebrate the West's unique moral, philosophical, artistic, musical, and literary achievements wow. and have taught them at virtually every university. The most revered liberal in American political history, President Franklin Roosevelt, often cited the need to protect Western civilization and even Christian civilization. Yet when President Donald Trump spoke of the need to protect Western civilization in a speech in Warsaw, <laughs> The left-wing media, also known as the mainstream media, denounced him. They argue that Western civilization is no better than any other and that Western civilization is, is just a euphemism uh. for white supremacy. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. So then, if liberalism and leftism are so different, why don't liberals oppose the left? In a nutshell because they have been taught all their lives to fear the right. But as one of the best known liberals in America, Harvard Law School professor- Fear or hate, vehemently um, disagree with anything they say without even looking into what they're saying. I'm just saying, that's, that's what we're taught. The right. But as one of the best known liberals in America, Harvard Law School professor Alan Dershowitz said, as a liberal, as an American, and as a Jew, I far more fear the left than the right. Wow. Dear liberals, wow. conservatives are not your enemy. The left is. I'm Dennis Prager. Wow. Shout out to Dennis Prager. Um, and that's why this is Prager U, because the gentleman 
knows his stuff. Now, people will actually consider, well, leftists consider conservative values <clears throat> racist because they believe that conservatives want the country to be what it's always been or what it started out as. And and what we're fed is it's always been or it started out as racist, super racist, um, slave, um, um, about slavery and all those things. So when we hear um, when that whole make America great again thing, saying, so you want to take it back to the original America where slaves were black, all black people were slaves. And that's not the case at all. But there's a boatload of people who believe that. And that's why a lot of people who move over from blue pill to red pill lose a lot of friends, a lot of friendships, um, a lot of partnerships, like business partnerships, and their family um, stop talking to them. You're pretty much exiled from your community when you do that. Because they're thinking that, how can you love someone? Someone posted this on on IG the other day. They said, how can you love someone but vote for something that that um, that will harm a person that you claim you love? Yeah. So that's that's the thing right there. So that's why a lot of people are being exiled. And it's ridiculous, but that's where we are, man. This was good information, brother. Left versus liberal. So now I know. So liberals, they're not all that bad. <laughs> it's leftists. Y'all let me know whatever you want me to know in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I'm Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual. Love y'all.